Hey, what's up, it's Chanel, and welcome to a new collection update here on Vital Vinyl Vlog. I made an order for some badass ambient tunes, and I got a little bit more than I bargained for, and it is incredible. So, thank you to Paul, and let's go over this. Hail Schnell, thanks for your order. Here's some extra tunes. I hope you enjoy. I don't know if this information's gonna be meant to be public, so I'm not going to read this part. But uh there's a release that's coming out that you can slow down so it's even more like mellow, which I think is super sick. Stay high, see you in Philly. Peace. Thank you very much. And uh, this is a special low frequency um, ambient mixtape volume 2 flyer. Which I. We're actually currently blasting the third ambient mixtape on sci fi recordings. Really nice cosmetics. It sounds great. Author is yo. The eternal champion can legit do anything. Like he mastered like these recordings and stuff. It's just so crazy, like knowing that like he can go from something like this to like something such as Summerlands to something, you know, like kind of like mainstream and shit like it's kind of crazy how talented like legit to get a band like piss grave like you know and the capture that savagery and stuff and then go and work with something like this i think just takes massive talent and just a love for your craft and that shines through with to me, although it is just like a solo, you know, recording and whatnot that took place, all sounds improvised and primitively captured. It, it's real. It's, I don't want to spoil. I legit don't want to spoil like the cosmetics and stuff because it's really interesting. I really like how he he did this, but. I will read the songs and whatnot, and uh, real quick, there's a little asterisk, and that indicates sound on, sound generative tape loop, loop effect. So some of these tracks have that on uh, the A side, and uh, mastered by Alter Risk, all sounds tuned to A at 432 HZ goes over the equipment which I think is awesome because I again I love this type of stuff and I like knowing what it was recorded on because I was always a big fan of just a simple mini chord like I could play with that for hours so I can't imagine having like a setup like this when I go over another release and you just or I just show you the poster and you see the the setup it's just so sick like I would love to have this setup but uh big dream six minutes and 38 seconds dream loop three minutes and 24 seconds ehx 2800 vs Dash three o zero asterisk four 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 loop drone four minutes backwards tape asterisk two ten dissolving sequence asterisk three thirty three. It's just awesome. That's all you need to know. If you have not heard Paul's like solo material, get into it. And I've never said Paul's last name out loud. So, Paul, I hope I'm saying your last name correctly. But, uh, yeah. 
We're listening to a uh, Paul Riddell ambient mixtape volume three. It's awesome. I, I love this stuff. So I'm kind of being biased, but I'm not. Like, just, I wish I could remember that Brian Eno quote about ambient music. Like, it's meant to be in the background, yet still intriguing. And this obviously it nails that aesthetic. Ah, oh, I'm like the quotes on like the tip of my tongue. It's like a really good quote too. But I remember reading that about it might have been like a nah, it wasn't neurosis. I don't think Scott I don't think it was Scott Kelly either. Somebody I, I forget. Somebody did like an ambient record. And I just remember that Brian Eno quote being in the review. But anyways, yeah, Mixtape Volume 3 is awesome. Everything about this rules. And if you're not a fan of ambient music, hey, this is a great gateway into it. And then maybe, you know... Let's say, like, uh, I don't want to hear ambient music. I want to hear, you know, more, like, solos and regular blood incantation. I think maybe you'll understand Time Wave Zero a little bit more if you understand, like, just a little bit more about the genre itself. Like, definitely look up, like, certain artists and stuff, but, like, I would start with that Brian Eno quote. Because it really, like, gives you a good understanding of the genre and what to expect from it when it comes to memorable music. Because, you know, it kind of is meant, like, a little bit for meditative purposes, but also, like, it's totally meant to chill, too. Like, and that's the part of the quote I like a lot, like. Part of it's meant to be background, but part of it's meant to also be intriguing. But, Ambient Mixtape Volume 3. But what I ordered was, I had some spare cash. Hovercraft, or I don't know if uh, Paul wants it pronounced, Hovercraft. And with uh, Schwieband music. I don't know if you want the, the accent, but th that's how I actually would say that, though. Like, should been music. Like, I don't know how else to pronounce it. I mean, but I think it means floating music. But I could be wrong just because it just says floating music there. I just guess. I should have just looked it up. But uh, SDH, because, like, my schnell means, like, fast. Like, you know, quickly. Like, mach schnell. Like, hurry up. Is what that pretty much means, you know? Dumm kauf. I'm a dumm kauf. Ich bin dumm... Wait, yeah. Ich bin dumm kauf. Scheitza. But, uh, yeah. Again, author Riz. Dude. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> like, going from, like, you know, like, recording hardcore to recording badass ambient music. Like, I just think that takes so much talent. And this is a special low frequency release, which is a subdivision of wood smoke, to my knowledge. And again, very 70s. This is very 70s looking. Uh, oh, it's over there. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I just, my knees keep, like, buckling. <laughs> I really don't want to eat shit on camera. Especially almost 10 minutes in here. But, uh, yeah. Schweben music. Two tracks of absolute awesome. I like the second track a little bit more, but uh, still, like, first track, 23 minutes and 3 seconds of just 
total just space music awesome but uh i really really like the inner ocean i think that's what it is but it's like in german or something yeah i think that's german not a, again i'm sorry paul if i'm fucking up here but i just saw like you know down here i recognized some german words from uh German class, but, um, yeah, the hovercraft at full length is great, I, I love this stuff, again, like, I'm kind of being biased, but I really think anybody can dive into this and find something to love about it, but two tracks, and, like, just I love the cover art, which is a 1980 art piece, if I'm reading this correctly. Star Panorama, uh, Kunstwerk Deutsch, Jeffrey Chandler, 1980. Like, I really dig the whole aesthetic, the sound, everything. Really, really good stuff. I've just been really digging uh, the next release a lot, and I don't know if it's actually available yet, so I apologize. But um, I know this is going to be coming out. There's a letterhead with all the upcoming releases and stuff, which I thought, again, like. Cool as shit. Like, I, I don't know. I just love that type of stuff. But, like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, dude, like, you nailed it, man. And if you follow me on, like, the Patreon here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I post stuff like this all the time. So, as soon as I saw that cover and I saw that it was. Paul Riddell, Ocean of Peace. I knew I was getting into something awesome. Pennsylvania just developed their own runts. Really good. Like, I'm feeling awesome right now, honestly. My neck doesn't hurt. And I'm really enjoying the Ambient Mixtape Volume 3 for probably the 12th time in the past 24 hours. But Ocean of Peace by Paul Riddell. This is a, a, it's seriously amazing. I don't know where Paul comes up with this stuff. Like, it's crazy how, to me, somebody, like, because I, I can't even play, like, you know, a Black Sabbath. Like, no offense to Black, like, I love Black Sabbath, but... I, I couldn't play, like, the simplest Black Sabbath song if you held a gun to my head. Like, if you were like, yo, go, da -da, da -da -da, I, show's over. Like, you know, like, sorry, like, I just can't. I mean, I think I could play the beginning of, uh, I used to be able to play something on drums. I forget what it was, though. I couldn't do the whole song, though, but I could actually do a little bit. But, I used to love, and I still do, I go to the local music store and I mess with the synthesizers. So, like, when I see a setup like this, it's just like, oh my god, that looks so fun. Like, that's hours of entertainment for me, but it's also hours of amazing creative energy put on to tape by Paul, and that's the point here, this is music to chill to, like, like don't go into this, uh, like, I know I'm wearing a Morbid Angel shirt, like, don't go into this thinking, like, anything like that, it's like, go into it thinking the way, you, if you knew about Time Wave Zero, I don't know how some of you legitimately did not know that that was going to be an ambient release, kind of, like, I feel like maybe you did know, but you just wanted to complain. 
it's whatever. It's not like whatever. Like, but the peace be with you. Especially with current events. This just really like for yesterday especially, like my mom's a teacher. And she was real upset and stuff. And like my mom knows I'm a big, you know, water incantation spectral voice fan. She didn't know Paul did this type of music. And I consider Paul a friend. And she just said, you know, like, he's very talented. And I just said, yeah, like, I know. And to me, this really just, because even if you go back, like, he might say, like, ah, it's whatever. But, like, I think it's awesome. Like, Leech. I, I, I love that stuff. It just hits the spot for me. Because it just reminds me of a time where, like, that was what I was seeking out. Like, I remember when, like, I found Ash or whatever they were. I think that's how you said it. But, like, I remember thinking that was, like, the bee's knees. And then when I heard that Beach Thou's was, I was just like, like, why have I never heard this band before? Like, oh, my God, you screwed up. But... This is going to be, uh, well, I'm sure it's going to be released soon, though, but I, I don't know if, uh, oh, I guess this is just, uh, part of the cassette cosmetics, the new age music, because it's on one of the flyers as well, with, um, Ambient Mixtape Volume 4 and Ambient Mixtape Volume 4. And coming soon on LP, okay, it has been announced then. Coming soon on LP from Sci-Fi, Paul Riddell, Ocean of Peace. New thinking, new music. And that's awesome. New dimensions of consciousness for a holistic way of life. Creative, sensible, harmonic music for opening ears. Instrumental music for relaxing is and obviously I mean like I've been talking but I hope you've been able to hear some of this music because it's really beautiful but like two oceans searching for light uh journey to peace I can't pronounce the actual thing though but all sounds and emotions spontaneously experienced by P quietly captured with the SI-169 Studio Compound Denver Colorado Winter 2020 like sabbatical processing and mastering by Arthur Risk Philadelphia Pennsylvania Winter 2022 just badass man and again if you're not into ambient music I suggest Maybe giving it a second chance. Like, there's some real good stuff out there. Like, and even on, like, you know, YouTube and stuff. Like, if you just go down the right rabbit holes, you'll find some really cool artists and stuff. But I'm sure this is getting, like, or it probably already has, like, an official, like, cassette release. I'm very happy to have copies of all three of these bad boys. They're all extremely good in their own way. This just really, I, I've just been digging the shit out of it. But like the new like hovercraft, really dope. And Ocean of Peace, like I said, kind of just came at a really good time during a really dark time in American history. Like this hovercraft flyer, badass. I, I hung up some, uh, like, New Age posters that, uh, got sent over up on my fridge. I was like, Mom, I want, uh, your relatives to think you're, uh, uh, joining the dark side. <laughs> but it's not the dark side at all. It's, like, the complete opposite, actually. But I just wanted her to look like a hippie-type lady. But, uh. I love the special low frequency logo. It's just like these three skulls. 
super badass. But uh, here's like I really love the cosmetics they chose. Just really cool looking and stuff. And this is sci-fi recordings. Pretty sure it's Tim from uh, Parasitic Records and Soma Free Institute, Wear Goat, etc., etc., etc. But uh, really badass stuff. I always love the, you know, USA, Earth. But uh, also I have some stickers and stuff. The uh, Ambient Mixtape Volume 2 flyer. Which features hovercraft, hanging moss, forest of Pluto, extraterrestrial, and Herker. I think that says Herker. I'm sorry if it does not. But these are really nice. 62 minutes of unreleased ambient experimental folk, lark, ambient, noise, and drone recordings. Like, again, this is not for everyone, but it's really fucking good. But... Rune Magic, Catonic Deity, Split Sticker, stoked on that. Two Reassembled and Paint Stickers, sick. And I was going to go over this, but I didn't realize I was over 20 minutes. But it has a bunch of releases that are coming out on Special Low Frequency. But go to www.speciallowfrequency.com. I think the website might be down right now. Not positive, but definitely check it out. But uh, this is release information about uh, Hovercraft. And it's just really cool. It tells you the playing time and stuff, the track listing, the producer, all the release information. Stuff I really wish like more bands would do. But this is just such a cool thing to me. And same thing with Hovercraft, like, and Hovercraft, oh, it's a little bit different than the, than the solo stuff, but it kind of has a similar vibe, but it's all badass stuff, especially this little stack right here. Badass enough that I talked it up for 22 plus minutes. So thank you to Paul. I hope I pronounced everything correctly. If you like, you know, beautiful ambient music, give this stuff a chance. Definitely worth your time. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hail 